Medical uses for sugar, mainly in the form of honey, have been around for thousands of years. Papyrus scrolls like these from ancient Egypt are some of the earliest written medical records. And it's absolutely fascinating when you go through them because you can see that honey is frequently mentioned as one of the key ingredients for treating wounds. Thousands of years later, modern clinical trials have shown that certain honeys do indeed have antibacterial properties. And medical grade honeys like these are routinely used in hospitals up and down the country. Treating infected wounds with sugar is one thing, but using sugar to prevent illness could be even better. Vaccines like these prevent lethal diseases of all kinds. They're one of the most effective health protection measures ever. But they can be difficult and costly to administer because it's vital that they're kept refrigerated from the moment when they're produced to the moment when they're injected into the patient. Shockingly, up to half of all vaccines have to be thrown away because when they warm up, the vaccine spoils. But a company in Leicester could be about to change all that with a little help from sugar. We know that one of the real issues with vaccines is that they've got to be transported under refrigeration. How can sugar help? Sugar is a well-known stabiliser. What we are essentially doing is we are mixing our vaccine with a sugar mixture and we dry that onto uh, a membrane, a fibrous membrane. So when the liquid dries, it changes into a sugar glass. And once it's in a sugar glass format, the vaccine component that's trapped within the, the sugar is uh, completely protected from the external elements. The dried sugar keeps out any air or water and stops the vaccine from deteriorating. The dried pad is then packed into a plastic case. So that doesn't need to be stored in a fridge? That certainly does not. Once it's been manufactured, it can stay outside the fridge in, in the room temperature for a very long period. The unit can easily be connected to a standard syringe, and when saline solution is flushed through it, the sugar instantly dissolves, releasing the vaccine into the needle. It's lightweight and you can pack a large quantities into a backpack, for example, if you want to do a, a vaccination campaign in there in a remote developing country. So this could make a huge difference, couldn't it? It, it certainly will. It offers you the uh, stabilisation properties. It's easy to uh, deliver, manufacture, and also administer in a in large vaccination programme. 